tomorrow. Over. When my bird's on game, first thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to attach my hunting leash to the slit in his swivel. I mean, excuse me, in his jess to get control. So I need to watch, you know, reach under. He may be excited on game, but I still have to find. Oh, there's a jess. Okay. You know, he won't bite you. It's not the biting I'm worried about. <laughs> He'll go through my fingers with the talons. Oh. He's not going to hurt me with his beak. No. His pinch. All right. See, I have a jess. Yes. Yep. Do you see him fussing? No. Hmm? No. Okay. Because he knows I'm not going to steal from him. Because I practice and practice with this lure. Before he ever started flying, I began practicing with it. Now, he is eating the chick. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call him off after he's done eating it. I have my foot on the lure, so it stays there. When we get to the process where he catches game, I'm gonna be coming in. He has to break into the carcass to eat it. You gotta get through skin, that's tough. So he's gonna pull feathers and then try to break through the skin. In the meantime, I get to him, I show him food on the ground. Oh yeah, we do this at home. He's going to leave the game, jump up, game goes, just as I'm gonna do with the, the lure, mm -hmm. out of sight into a hunting bag, into a big pocket. Mm -hmm. He doesn't then think, are you taking away there? <laughs> doesn't then think, where did my lovely quail go? Because he can't, he doesn't have the metal capacity. Mm. I can say to you, ice cream cone, make it vanilla. Change it to chocolate. You can do that. He can't do that. 